Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another three looks, one palette video using the Melt Amor y Mariposas palette. I did a first impressions on this. I will link it in the cards and down below. And now I'm doing obviously three looks with it. I received this as a gift generously for Christmas. And I believe this is still available. Sometimes Melt's holiday releases go insanely fast and sometimes they stay around for a little bit. I don't think that this palette sold as well as um, the sold as well as they hoped that it would initially. I have a million thoughts going on in my head right now. I'm so so sorry. The world is a crazy place right now. So hopefully perhaps this video may provide a little bit of an escape. Um, anyway, so that's what I've been thinking about, just all of the shit happening, going on in the world. Uh, it's, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this palette. I kindly received this as a gift. Still available. Where are my thoughts going? Dee dee dee. Oh, yes. Melt holiday releases. I feel like always nail it. I, I mean, honestly, well... Recently, I was gonna say Melt releases always nail it for me. That's not always true. Sometimes they can be hit or miss, but I feel like their holiday releases always slap. And spoiler alert, this is no exception. So if you wanted to see me use this palette, have some inspiration, maybe later down the line after the hype has died down a little bit, is it still worth it? You'll find out at the end. Keep on watching. Let's get into the first look. Okay, and welcome to the first look in this Three Looks One palette using the Melt Amor y Mariposas palette. So, I'm gonna do something like relatively neutral-ish today, I think, and I'm going to start with the shade Mensaje, this mustardy yellow. And I've primed my eyes using the NARS Match Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I have not set my lids. I'm just gonna use this as my first blending shade. Take the shade Ab Ab Abrazos. <laughs> I'm drying. And I'm going to put this through my outer corner and my crease. Look at that red. shade Nueva Vida and use this to deepen my crease. take the shade Sagrado in the center of my lid and the shade Tequila in the front part. First though I'm going to take some NYX glitter primer and put this all over my lid where I want the shadow to go and then I'm going in with the shade Sagrado now. Putting that in the center. <laughs> And then 
taking tequila and putting that in the front. So now I'm going to take a Brazos and just blend this into the shade Sagrado, just a little, and then also take this and run this over the edge in the front of my crease. And then I'm going to take Nueva Vida and also use this to just further deepen my outer corner. Just look at how these, like, you can just layer and layer these mats and they just build in depth. It's, ugh, I love melt mats. And then also take Nueva Vida through the front part of my crease one more time and use that to blend the shimmers. And then I'm going to take Mensaje once more on a smaller brush this time and just blend over the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to take a Sagrado and Tequila on my fingers and use this to intensify my lid shades. Melt has definitely improved their metallic formula with this palette. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take a Brazos and put this all underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to take Nueva Vida and use this to deepen my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Mensaje and blend my lower lash line out. And now I'm going to take the shade Mariposa. I use this in my first impressions on my lid, but now I'm going to take this and just put this on the inner part of my lower lash line. So now for my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to take my face highlight because there's nothing really in this palette that's going to work super great for me for that. I'm using the Melt Digital Dust Highlight in the shade Stargazer. Okay, and now I'm going to take a black. So I'm just going to take the shade Bonnie from the Melt Gemini palette and use this to darken my outer corners. Okay, so I'm finished. <laughs> I'm going to put my lashes on, put my lips on, and be back to conclude this look. Okay, and this is the finished look. On my lips, I have the NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle and the Fenty Beauty um, Heat Lip Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow Heat. I cannot stop using this. I love it so much. And in my waterline, I have the ColourPop Crumb Gel Liner in the shade Venus. It's a red. I love this look. It's like me in a look. You know if you watch me that I love warm tones and I love reds, particularly melt reds. It was so easy and quick to do this look. Like it basically took me no time. The shadows performed beautifully and I just enjoy it immensely. Um, and that is all I have to say. So let's give in to the second look. Okay, hello and welcome back to the second look using the Melt Amor y Mariposas palette. So I'm going to do a halo eye today using the purples. I'm going to start off with the darkest shade and work light to, or dark to light today. So I'm going to start with the shade Chato. I'm going to do, did I say a halo eye? A halo eye. I'm just going to stamp this in my outer corner, inner corner, and connect it through my crease.
Okay, look at that beautiful eggplant shade. Oh my god, this is what dreams are made of. Okay, and now I'm going to blend that out using the shade Noob. This really beautiful purple. And like I usually do with Halo Eyes, I'm kind of just going to go over the shade and blend it out, blend it together, you know. I haven't used Melt's Mattes Light to Dark yet, or Dark to Light, excuse me, so this is going to be a test, but usually they're, I like working with Melt's Mattes generally, so, you know, I have a good degree of optimism here. So this eye, beautiful blend. This eye, questionable, but that's my own personal fault. Uh, not the fault of the shadows. Oh, I just love Melt Matte so, so much. And now I'm going to take the shade, uh, which one? Actually, I'm going to take the shade Te Adoro. Apologies again for pronunciation. Um, I'm trying, but I'm going to just use this to blend the edges out. Okay, so I'm going to quickly hop off camera, cut my crease just in the center of my eye, and then be back. Okie doke. So my crease is cut and I'm just going to go in with the shade Chato one more time and just make sure that the depth is still there. I find with Halo Eyes that it's easier to work dark to light. This is a recent conclusion that I've come to just because I don't have to keep going back in as much um, and like re-deepening the darker areas that I want just because it's already like packed on there. So I think I'm going to continue to work dark to light for Halo Eyes for sure. This one got a little bit out of control with the concealer so I'm just going to kind of go back in and make sure that the shape is what I want it to be. And then take a small brush very lightly go over the middle and then take the shade Noob and then also use this to transition into the center of my lid. Blend it in a little bit more. And then also take this very lightly, like the smallest amount of product with a very light hand and go over the center of my eye. Okay, um, now I'm going to take the shade of Mesquite, which is this like bronzy gold right here. I'm going to put that on my lids. First though, I'm going to take some NYX glitter primer and put that in the center of my lids where my crease is cut. And then taking Mesquite. I'm putting this in the center of my eye.
I'm going to take a little bit of Noob and just blend this into onto the shade into the shade on my lid. Then I'm going to go back again one more time with the shade Teodoro and just make sure everything's blended. And now, and then I'm going to take a tiny little brush with the shade Chato and stamp this on the edge of where I cut my crease. And then I'm gonna take Mesquite with my finger. Really beautiful metallics, actually. Well, it really did much better. I'm going to intensify this on my lid and also blend this into the edges because I find that this helps with that. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Almohada, which is just a warmer purple, and run this underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to take the shade Chato again and deepen my lower lash line. And now I'm going to take the shade Teodoro and blend it out. I'm going to take a tiny bit of glitter glue, just a tiny little dollop on my pinky, and put this, tap this on my lower lash line right in the center. And then I'm going to take mesquite and tap this in the center of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a black, I'm going to use the shade, the same shade Bonnie from the Gemini palette that I used before. And I'm going to take a small amount of this and just use this to darken the outer and inner parts of my eyes. Okay, and so finally I'm going to just take my face highlighter, which is again the Digital Dust Highlighter from Melt in the shade Stargazer for my inner corners and my brow bone. I love this combination of purple and this warm toned like orangey bronze. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up my face, put my lashes on, lips, all that stuff, and then be back to conclude this look. Okay, and this is my finished look. Oh, my mirror's on. I really, really, really love it. I love these purples paired with this like bronze it's so so nice on my lips i have the makeup forever artist color pencil and endless cacao and the ColourPop ultra glossy lip in the shade fairy floss if you watched my makeup that i want to use more video this is in there and of course endless cacao makes everything better so i actually really like this lip combo a lot a lot a lot um so here's to hoping that I can finish this gloss up and yeah on my inner corner no 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 on my like on holy shit on my waterline you just witnessed me have a stroke on my waterline I have the color pop liner in the shade best oh it's like a purpley plummy color and my lashes are bold face makeup lashes in the style heart eyes which I really love I have to make a new order for lashes soon because I'm running low. Okay, let's get into the third and final look. Hello everyone, welcome to the third look using the Melt Amor y Many Poses palette. I'm just gonna say right at the gate, it's February 24th today when I'm filming this. If you're listening to the news at all, you know that it's not really a great day for anyone, so I just want to say it feels a little bit stupid doing makeup right now, but I, and it doesn't really feel like anything, but I do really hope that everyone's doing okay, particularly if, I mean, if you're in Ukraine right now, you're probably not watching this, but if you have family members or are in a nearby country or, or anything like that or affected by it, um, I really hope everyone's doing, doing okay and staying safe and all that stuff. Um, but... <laughs> I'm gonna do a green look today. So I'm gonna start with the shade Carino. I'm going to use this as my first blending shade. So I'm just gonna run this all through my crease.
Now I'm going to take this shade called Sentimientos, just a darker green, and run this through my outer corner of my crease. to take the shade Guamuchil um, and I want to see how dark I can get this and just use this to build my crease up further. able to get a good amount of depth with that so I'm happy now I am going to take the shade that I can't remember how to pronounce me oh I'm sorry I forgot how to pronounce it I did look it up but this dark green and um, I'm going to first take some glitter primer from NYX where is my brush and I'm gonna put this all over my lid and then take the Mihawakan shade. This feels a little bit more hard pressed than all the other shimmers in the palette. Um, and maybe a little bit less shimmery, like sparkly, but it is a beautiful shade. Super vibrant. So now I'm going to take the mid-tone green called Sentimientos and just run this over the front of my eye. And then I'm going to take Guamuchil, which is the deepest shade, deep in my outer corner. And also blend that into the Mi... Oh, is it Mi Walkin? I'll look it up. I'll look it up. The darker green on my lid. And then also blend, take some more of the darker matte green and run this through the front part of my crease and just blend the dark metallic green out. Michoacan. Michoacan. I looked it up. Okay, and then I'm going to take some the shade Michoacan on my lid or no on my finger and intensify it on my lid it's a really beautiful tone of green honestly and then I'm gonna take the shade Cielito Lindo which is the lighter green and tap this on the center of my lid. This is a little bit more minty. It's still really pretty though. And again, similar to Michoacan, it's not as like creamy and a little bit more sparkly than the other shimmers. It's a little bit just like smoother. Oh, I really like these. They're really nice tones of green. 
Okay, so for my lower lash line, I just want to go totally green. This is clean. Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Sentimientos, which was the midtown green, and just take this all underneath my eye. Okay, and now I'm going to take the shade Guamuchil and use this to deepen my lower lash line. And now I'm going to take the shade Carino and blend my lower lash line up. And I'm also going to take this on a little blending brush and just run this over the edge of the shadow on my top lid as well. Now I'm going to take that same Cialito Lindo shade that I used in the center of my eye and put that on the inner part of my lower lash line. And then for my inner corners, I'm going to try to take the shade Tequila and see how it looks. I don't know if it's going to be too deep. It might be, but we'll see. I'm just going to give that a little spray. I think it'll work. I might put a little bit of my face highlighter on top. We'll see. And then finally, I'm going to take the same Bonnie shade from the Melt Gemini palette that I've been using in all of my looks. And just use this to deepen my inner corners. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and then be back to conclude this video. Okay, this is the finished look. I desperately need to cut my hair. I hate how long it's getting. Anyway, not the point. On my lips, I'm wearing the NYX Lip Liner and Espresso and the Wet n Wild Lipstick in the shade Mochalicious. Look at me. I made a video talking about all the makeup that I wanted to use and I'm actually using it. I deserve a round of applause. I also need to get a new chair, one that doesn't creak. <sighs> this palette, this palette, this palette. I want to say that I don't like it because it's so expensive, but that would make me a liar. The more I use this palette, the more I absolutely love it. I love Melt's formula so much. <sighs> Truly, I know a lot of people don't, but I think it is absolutely immaculate, especially the mattes. I know that I will reach for the mattes in this palette all of the time, particularly the dark like purples and the dark reds. They are impeccable. Very like a best of the best of melts formula. Buildable, blendable beautifully pigmented. I just adore them so much. This packaging, stunning. It feels weighted, like it feels expensive as it should because it is expensive and it, I don't know, I like the little, excuse me, I like the little butterfly imprints on here. They're still around even after using these shadows multiple times. Um, I've used all of these shades except the shade Señales, which is, I'm assuming will work fine. It's like a matte beige shade, so if all, any shade was going to give you problems, probably wouldn't be that one, but I have used every other shade and they worked absolutely beautifully. Did we need both of these shades in here? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But I feel like there's so much range in this palette. You can go full green like I did today. You can go purple. You can go different tones of purple. You can go red. You can go pink. You can go orangey. You can go neutral. It's just absolutely beautiful. Does Melt have reds and greens in their lineup? Yes, but a lot of those palettes are limited edition or unavailable currently. So I just feel like this is such a beautiful palette. If it sticks around and you can get it on sale, I would recommend it because it's just so, so nice. And the shimmers in here are easily the best shimmers that I've ever tried from Melt. These green shimmers, like I said um, in, when I was doing this look, are less, like, they're more, a little bit more dense and don't have any, like, real texture or sparkle to them. Excuse me, but 
they do perform well as like metallics and then the shades tequila mesquite and sagrado all are beautiful metallic shades they really are beautiful metallic shades they have a little bit of like shimmer to them and sparkle to them in texture so they're a little bit more interesting i didn't have any problems with like application or flakiness or or anything like that as i have with melt shimmers in the past i just feel like this is such a knockout palette and as much as i want to be like mm, it's not really worth it i i just can't say that because i love melts color stories and formulas so so much i had an absolute blast playing with this palette i'm honestly so grateful um to have this in my collection and i just uh, i just adore it honestly let me know what your thoughts on this palette are or melts shadows in general it's always interesting to hear other people's opinions on controversial shadow formulas let me know which look was your favorite i think it's got to be for me the second one as much as i like this look that purple and like bronzy orangey halo i was really really tickled my fancy if you will thank you so much for watching i always always appreciate it and i would love to see you in my next video bye